What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Tony Brienne and in today's video we're going to be discussing the fall of King Kylie. So I'm shooting on a brand new camera. Please let me know how you guys like the camera. I feel like it's like very much so HD. It's the Lumix G. It's a Panasonic camera and I was going to go and get the Sony um, I think it's the VE10. Please don't quote me on that. But it's one of their new cameras that is like amazing and very beautiful. But I'm testing this camera out first. Hopefully it looks just as good. And hopefully I like it. I could return it. So I'm just hoping that this looks good. And I could just stick to this camera without having to switch. So with this video, I have been so super excited to film. Because I have been doing very deep research on this topic. Because I have all my TikTok family just constantly reporting on this. And I have had my own theories on Kylie Jenner and the fall of her empire. So I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, but this may have just been from my perception. But in my opinion, the Kardashians are not as influential as they once were. Yes, we have Kylie Cosmetics. Yes, we have Skims. Yes, we have Good American. But I just don't feel like they have the same level of influence that they had maybe five to seven years ago. As we all know, Kylie Jenner became the queen of social media, dethroning her older sister, Kim Kardashian, when she surpassed her number of following a few years back. But I just don't think it's hitting the same way. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down exactly why I have these exact opinions. So sit back, grab some popcorn, and let's get straight into this video. So as we all know, though it feels like four score years ago, Kylie Jenner was basically all over the many social media platforms. She was very popular on the app Keek, very popular on Vine, and of course, Snapchat, which was incredibly infamous where you can see her relationship with Tyga and her day-to-day -day life with her besties. She very quickly got the name King Kylie as her fans labeled her, and I think that had to do a lot with her dating Tyga. This was Kylie's blue-green hair era when she first started getting lip injections when she started overlining her lips. I personally think that's when she looked her absolute best. She looked amazing. I think she just should have stuck with the overlining if she wanted to get bigger lips or even if she did like a light injection but I think she went a bit overboard and now we have her face today where it is very much so manufactured allegedly but I'm not gonna say too much on that. <laughs> Though her insecurity of her lips led her to build a multi-million dollar empire, which she claimed to be a billion dollar empire, but that was later debunked by Forbes. But over the years, the sales have plummeted more and more, especially due to the pandemic. There are lots of conspiracies as to why the sales have plummeted so drastically. A lot of people believe it's because of her expensive products, cheesy ads, her using her face everywhere, which is one of my points, and her allegedly fabricating the value of the brand Kylie Cosmetics, which came out by Forbes a little bit later. So I'm gonna start off with my first theory as to why Kylie Jenner is not as popular as she once was. And that is her lying about becoming a billionaire. So back in 2019, Kylie Jenner graced the cover of Forbes as being the first and youngest self-made billionaire. Forbes did a whole article on her, there was an interview, there was a photo shoot, and it was a huge thing and a lot of people were already upset about them calling her a self-made billionaire due to her having a very wealthy and famous family known as the Kardashians that already built quite the empire. But aside from that, yes, Miss Kylie Jenner got the cover of Forbes. Just about a year later, Forbes came out saying that Kylie Jenner forged all her tax documents and she was actually not a billionaire. Kylie denied that this was the case by posting a simple tweet but a lot of people did not believe her and that was just the start of the fall of King Kylie. To this day people still bring the fact that she lied about this though she's still incredibly rich but it made her kind of lose a lot of that trust that fans had for her. So this is more of like a blatant reason let's be real. I want to get more into the reasons that you probably didn't think about that I thought about because I was thinking too deep and I always think too deep but <laughs> let's get into my next point. So my next reason why I think that King Kylie is not as popular anymore is that she is a mom. So Kylie became a mom at a very young age, getting pregnant at just 19. She did lose a little bit of her desirability, I feel, because at this age, a lot of people are just into just the sex appeal and her partying and having fun, though she was very young. But Kylie grew up very fast, so people were thinking she was 24 at 16, 17. And we lost a lot of that when she became a mom to Stormy, though Stormy is probably the most popular baby of the Kardashian clan. After becoming a mother, Kylie did still go down the sexy route. I think it was a little bit more toned down. She 
seems a lot more private, but I think that it kind of affected her because I feel she could have really profited off of her being a mom. And I know she does have Kylie baby, but I don't think she should have did it in that way. As we all know, mom talk is huge. And though when she had Stormy TikTok was not as popular, I think she really could have profited off of her being a mom and just vlogging her day-to-day -day life as a mother, not all glammed up with long nails, long extensions, and tight dresses. And yes, I know that moms don't have to walk around in sweats and look messy with a messy bun all day. I understand that completely. But I do think you need to become more relatable when you do become a mom. For instance, the influencer Raven Elise, she did a lot of beauty and fashion stuff before she became a mom. At I think 21, she became a mother. And right away, she went right into making more mom content. Though she did not want to be known just solely as mom content, some of her top videos are of her daughter and she got a lot of sponsorships from like baby companies and just being a mom and that really benefited her. Even with Kylie now having baby number two, not showing his face, not telling us his name and just being very private about it. In my personal opinion, I think she's probably doing this to kind of gain more traction over seeing this baby. But I think it's just making people forget about the baby. She's still showing Stormy and Stormy does have a very huge impact to a lot of people. People love Stormy. And that's honestly because this is baby number two for Kylie and baby number one is more exciting. And then also, I believe Stormy is a girl. Girls tend to be more exciting in the Kardashian family. If you guys do take a look, the most popular babies are the girl babies. And even those popular people in their family are all women. The men don't even get even half a chance to be at the level and status of the women in that family. So with him being a boy and him being baby number two, people are not going to be as excited. I think her best bet was to really capitalize on the mom thing without being so blatant and commercialized by creating a Kylie baby line. I think her just being a mom and even giving herself a chance to be able to use other companies to promote their products would have really been very beneficial for her. And that goes into number three. Kylie shows a lot less of her personal life. Now I completely respect this. I understand people being in your world, they have all these opinions. I get it. But when Kylie first came into the King Kylie era, she was very open about her life and showed her personality, showed her relationship, showed her friends, just to showing absolutely nothing. People liked having that insight and fans got this close relatability to her. And even when she tries to do this again, like when she did the 73 questions with Vogue, it just seemed very forced and as if she did not want to be there. Actually, let me show you a clip of the 73 questions with Vogue. Hi. I love the energy in this house. And who's the most like your mom? Probably my mom. Which one makes you laugh the hardest? Probably me. One word to describe your mom? Strong, it's loyal, it's gracious. She is very loving, it's confident. Do y'all not see how uncomfortable she looks? Like she does not want anybody there. She just looks very stiff. The entire video just felt very awkward and forced, honestly, like somebody told her she had to do this or she was just doing it for a check. I don't know, but she just seemed very much so stiff. I think Kylie got to a pedestal where she is very rich, where she feels like she does not have to do anything anymore in order to keep her fans. And I think she also feels the need to shelter herself because she got so much hate and animosity from people due to her showing more of her personal life. So she's kind of in this awkward situation and from what we see on social media and what she's even said herself, her personality has dimmed quite a bit. She went from being this very bubbly girl on Snapchat and on Vine and just being so happy and you saw that she was very silly to being this very stoic, straight faced, might I say dull woman. And honestly, I think it's because she felt like she was always being so criticized just being herself that she had to go into this whole new image. And I believe there are two reasons to this. I think it may be because she was bullied so much on social media that she felt if she just showed a very businessy only side of herself that's more straightforward to the point, she wouldn't get judged as much. Or I think it's because she got to this status where she's not able to be as free within herself. She has a team probably behind her that's telling her she can't post certain things. And she feels like she has to be very careful in order to avoid controversy, which she was constantly in, I think, a bit back in the day. And in the long run, I think this did not benefit her as much as she might have liked it to. My next reason for the fall of King Kylie has to do with Fenty. Fenty Beauty is the cosmetic line that business owner and I guess now former singer Rihanna came out with and it took the world by storm. The best part about Fenty that I think really 
captivated so many people was how inclusive it was. Being a black woman, I particularly did not necessarily have to struggle with this as much because my skin is a little bit more on the lighter side, but for a lot of darker skin tones, they were not represented when it came to lots of foundations and concealers. And Rihanna made sure to eliminate that fact when she launched Fenty. And she made sure to have so many different shades of foundation that would be beneficial for every single woman on the spectrum from very, very, very light skin to very, very dark skin. And that was a moment to remember. So back in 2017, when Rihanna launched Fenty Beauty, Kylie did have numerous beauty products out, but they were not very inclusive towards darker skin. But once Rihanna launched Fenty, Kylie and along with a lot of other beauty brands decided to expand their line of foundation and just being more inclusive in the beauty market. But it was too darn late because Rihanna just captivated our souls and everybody was buying Fenty. Though I still have not bought Fenty and I need to get on that because I heard that their foundation and their products are just absolutely to die for. So like I said, Kylie tried it and it was too late and people were calling her out for not being inclusive at all. And people were like, well, if Rihanna can be inclusive, why can't you? And Rihanna, she's a lighter skinned black woman and she still thought about darker skin tones. So a lot of people took notice to that and were like, hmm, I don't know, Kylie, like it's not giving at all. And they just did not like that she was not very inclusive with her branding. So I just believe her lack of inclusivity had people have a wake up call when it came to her products and just seeing that the products were not as great as they thought they were and it just was because her name was on it. I don't know, that's just my theory, that's just my thought. But that is another reason why I think Kylie and her brand is not as popular as it once was. My next point is gonna have to be with the type of makeup that Kylie Cosmetics comes out with. Kylie is clearly stuck in a phase in my opinion. I feel as if a lot of the things that she comes out with, they are not not what is trending now. Kylie Cosmetics is stuck in a 2017 era, in my opinion. I think that the dark lips, the very heavy makeup just is not popular anymore. Women are now looking for more of a fresh face and that is the new thing and Kylie Cosmetics just does not abide by that new trend. Even looking at Kylie, Kylie wears a lot of heavy makeup. And this is my theory, okay? And I'm gonna give this creator her credit because I always thought it, but she said it and I was like, Okay, I thought I was the only one thinking this. So the YouTuber Kimberly Nicole Foster said this in her video. Kylie is Gen Z, right? But her aesthetic is very millennial because she was always chasing after her older sisters. And because she has committed so much to the millennial aesthetic and sold young people the millennial aesthetic, she is having a hard time. It, yeah. Y'all? She was just speaking and preaching gems. Kylie grew up too fast. So though Kylie Jenner is technically a part of Gen Z, she grew up with the millennial era because she was just speeding through life at such a young age. And that's why I even believe she became such a young mom because she was so bored with life. She was like, I mean, I might as well have a baby at this point. And even when you see the For Our Daughter video, her old bestie Jordan Woods and a lot of Kylie's other friends also that Kylie wanted a baby so bad since she was 15 years old. When you're 20 years old, you're just figuring out your life. You don't know what you want. You're an indecisive teenager and you're just becoming a young adult. And there was one thing that your mom knew for sure, and that was you. Obviously, I started crying. I was so happy. I was proud of her. I knew this is what she wanted ever since she turned 15. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I know girls do look forward to having families, you know, girls that are teenagers and people even my age. But to me, the way they said it was like, no, she wanted a baby and she was gonna get that baby by any means. But aside from that, she grew up very quickly. So though she is technically Gen Z, she relates more with millennials and the millennial era. And as we all know, as the OG beauty gurus, they use a lot of darker makeup and they use more heavy makeup. That was like a huge thing. But now this is the era of the fresh face. They Love a little spiky brow, a little dab of mascara, a nice dab of blush, a little bit of concealer, and they're good to go. No one is into the whole hours of doing makeup or the birthday makeup look that men hate so much. That is not the new commonality. And it's very interesting to see because when she said it, I always thought it because I was like, I don't think Kylie really relates to this new Gen Z. I know people in her comments are always trying to say, oh, she's in her King Kylie era or da da da. I'm like, yo, y'all don't even know because this is not King Kylie era. Kylie was once the OG influencer, I believe. And I think she was definitely what people reference as the king of social media. I think she definitely had that power, but I do think it plummeted a lot because she just can't relate to this generation any longer, though this is her generation. Now let's go into my 
my next point, y'all. I have so many points. <laughs> so Kylie is literally the face of Kylie Cosmetics and all of her other brands. Kylie's name is plastered everywhere. So there is literally no room for any form of error because her face and her name is all over that brand. Every single time Kylie launched a new product, it was a photo shoot of her. Every time Kylie had something new coming out, it was her name on it. Like, I just don't think that that is very marketable after a while because once people start losing the hype over you or you just lose your desirability, you're gonna lose a big chunk of people that are supporting you. Versus if Kylie came out with a brand and named it, I don't know, Lightning Bolt or something. Even if people did not like Kylie anymore, they would still buy it because Kylie's name is not on it any longer. I just think she needed to separate herself from the brand just a bit because it felt very much so self-centered on Kylie. It's like Kylie, 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 even her office, it's her face, her name everywhere. And and though I know it's beautiful to love yourself, I think it's a very beautiful thing and that she loves seeing her name and face everywhere. But I think there needs to be a little bit of separation. Same as like with Fenty Beauty, there's a separation or Selena Gomez's line, there's a separation. I'll give this as an example. When I was once at Marshall's with my sister, we saw this really cute dress. It was so cute. But oh, you wanna know what that dress had on it right here? It said Kendall and Kylie. That was like their old line they had. And I immediately put it back because I'm not walking around wearing another woman's name all over my clothes. Now, if it said lightning bolt, <laughs> if that was her line, maybe I want to purchase it because it does not have Kendall and Kylie Jenner ran all over my darn dress. I don't want to wear that. And I also feel her having her name on a brand very much so limits her customer base because only her super fans are going to buy stuff that has Kylie's name brand all over it or influencers that are getting sent products that have to advertise it. And my next point has to do with Kylie having allegedly so much plastic surgeries. She claims she just only got lip fillers, but if you look at her face from before and you look at it now, I don't know Kylie. Kylie, but you know, I'm not gonna say too much because I'm not trying to get sued, okay? But if you look at her face now, it does not have more of that natural look. People like a very clean looking face. And if women do have plastic surgery on their face, though I have said before, I think plastic surgery is crazier than ever today. People are not touching their face as much. And if they do, they like a very natural touch up. Like they like a nice little Botox here, a little bit of lip filler here. But that overly plastic surgery looking face just is not it anymore. It's not what people want to look like any longer. People like a very baby angelic face that's natural and I think the woman Kimberly Nicole Foster said in her video is that this is the era of genetics and it literally is like the era of genetics. People just like a very nice looking natural face and I think that has a lot to do with the spike of the Y2K culture and 2000s movement coming back in because everyone had very natural faces. People are liking that look more and that is what's trending more and unfortunately no matter how hard Kylie tries she's not going to get that look back again because she may or may not have tampered with her face in the past where it's not that clean look that people are looking for. And last but certainly not least Kylie Jenner just is not relatable any longer. So with Kylie being very wealthy, she just is not relatable to her fan base any longer. And she does try, as you can see on social media, especially on TikTok, she's trying to become more active on it. And even her showing her more natural side by doing the skincare stuff and showing her light dab of makeup because that's what's trending right now. It just isn't hitting the same any longer. And this TikTok user actually called it out and Kylie responded, but take a look at this video. Shit. Okay, this is better. I'm just in my car. Whew. I just dropped four new lip blush shades. This is for the girls that love the look of a matte lip, but it is really comfortable. It's a little more of like a blotted lip. It has a moussey texture. Um, so yeah, I love to I love to wear this on like when I have like glowy skin. Today I'm wearing Sister Sister, which is an old shade that we brought back from the first Kendall collection. So I have our creamy liner still in here, which is 24 hour wear. The shade is like a natural rosy light nude. I don't know if you can tell, but it definitely has the moussey texture. It's soft, it doesn't dry down all the way. It's really light on your lips. How pretty is this? These are available right now. I need powder though, immediately. My lips look great, my face, it's so hot. 
in Los Angeles and humid. Okay, I have no grounds to actually speak on this because I don't know anything, but I think it's very interesting that when you watch this video, it's very curated to the style of an influencer and not Kylie Jenner. Like, this is something Emma Chamberlain would post, and I just think it's, like, interesting because it's like, you're a billionaire, girl. Like, why are you reviewing lip kits in your car when you live in a multi-million dollar home? Like, you did not just go to the store and pick that up. You didn't get home from somewhere and get it from your mailbox. Like, that was very deliberate of you going to your car to do that. And, like, the phone drop was kind of cringy. And I don't know. Maybe I'm just being stupid. But it's like, I saw this video of a girl being like, Kendall Jenner's copying everything I do. And at first I was like, mm, maybe. But now it makes sense because it's like... These people have never lived a normal life, like, ever. And that's no hate to them. Like, they've... It's, like, not their thing. But they have to find these people that have gotten popularity from being somewhat normal, and then they take their personality and, like, their traits and, like, what they do so then they can make videos like that and seem normal enough so they can relate to us because they are billionaires. Like, this is not something that Kylie Jenner does on the normal. I promise she does not just sit in her car. I don't think she even drives them, but whatever. So after taking a look at that video, Kylie Jenner did respond and say that the video was not that deep and it was not as calculated as he may have thought it was. And I'm gonna get into this really quickly. A lot of people in the comments were saying, well, Kylie can't be possibly calculated or she doesn't need to know how to be relatable because she used to do Vine and do Snapchat and Keeks back in the day. And yes, you're very much so right. But guess what? That was eight years ago and things have changed. Yes, she may have been relatable at that time because she did not have so many people watching her, but it's a different time frame now. No, she's not as relatable. The things she was doing eight to ten years ago, she's not doing now. And things have changed. New cars have come out. New devices have come out. So it is very different. And I do think they have to be a bit more calculated to seem a bit more relatable because it's more forced than it was back then when Kylie was just this 16, 17 year old girl that happened to be wealthy and was living just her life. So people need to take a look at that and understand that she's not the same person that she was all those years ago. Though that is not necessarily her fault because her fame did really populate from her being that relatable person it's just not gonna hit the same especially for this new generation all right y'all so those are all my points as to why I believe that there was a bit of a fall of Kylie Jenner and her impact that she's had on so many I do think she has a very good way to revamp it and I'm gonna say from my second point that I said earlier is her just being a mom and doing more mom content I think that would really benefit her in regard to her getting more popularity and being more relatable and still having such a grasp on a generation and I think that generation is Millennials I think that she needs to gravitate more towards Millennials because most Gen Zers are not parents right now now, they're still very young and though she is a young mom and I mean she could afford to have the kids so more power to you. Her kids are the age of most millennials now so she relates more to that generation. So for her to really profit from being an influencer I think her best 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 bet is to become a mom influencer. And if Kylie want me to be your social media manager just give me a call because I got you I got you. <laughs> All right y'all so that is the end of this video. Please let me know what you guys think is the reason that Kylie Jenner is not as popular as she once was or do you even think she's not as popular as she once was because some people may disagree with me and think that she's just as popular as she was before or even more. But I love and I appreciate all you guys so much. Thank you so much for the love and support. And please let me know how y'all like this camera. Is it a good camera? I think it's giving just a bit. Um, it's not that bad. The lens is definitely different from my old lens. So y'all are seeing more of the background versus before it would be more boxed in. But just let me know in the comments down below. And I love and I appreciate you all so much. Love you guys. Bye.